Ladies and gentlemen, space lovers of all ages, welcome to Space News Unfold, where we bring you the most exciting news and discoveries from the final frontier, space. Today's topic is sure to make you scratch your head and say, wait, what? The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered massive galaxies that shouldn't exist, and we're here to unravel this cosmic mystery. But before we dive into the details, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Why, you ask? Well, if you don't, a group of aliens will come and steal all the pizza from your fridge. Trust us, you don't want that to happen. We speak from experience. So hit that button and let's explore the strange and wonderful world of space together. Let's back up a bit. Giant mature galaxies were not expected to fill the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Nobody anticipated them. They weren't supposed to be there, but there they are, and now nobody can explain how they formed. Webb's early observation campaign has led to some remarkable discoveries. The telescope has spotted galaxies that are nearly as massive as the Milky Way, filled with mature red stars and dispersed in deep field images. But here's the kicker. These galaxies are so far away that they appear only as tiny reddish dots to the powerful telescope. By analyzing the light emitted by these galaxies, astronomers have established that they were viewing them in our universe's infancy, only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Early galaxies aren't particularly surprising. Astronomers expected that the first star clusters would spring up shortly after the universe moved out of the so-called Dark Ages, the first 400 million years of its existence when only a thick fog of hydrogen atoms permeated space. But the galaxies found in the web images are shockingly big, and the stars in them are too old. The new findings are in conflict with existing ideas of how the universe looked and evolved in its early years, and they don't match earlier observations made by Webb's less powerful predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. We had specific expectations for the type of galaxies that live in the early universe. They are young and small, explains Joel Leja, assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State and one of the authors of the study. Previous studies of the early universe with Hubble and other instruments tend to find small, blue baby galaxies at early times, objects which have just recently formed out of the primordial cosmic soup and are themselves building their early stars and structures. Young stars in general shine bright blue. With age, stars develop a redder glow as they burn through their fuel and cool down. In ancient galaxies that Webb was built to spot, astronomers had not expected to see old red stars. They also had not expected to find galaxies more massive than perhaps a billion suns. But those reddish dots revealed in Webb's deep fields appear 50 times more massive than that. The most massive galaxies in our sample are estimated to have masses two to four times lower than that of our own Milky Way, says Leja. This was astounding. We're finding galaxy candidates as massive as our own galaxy when the universe was 3% of its current age. Before astronomers start rewriting cosmology theories to explain how these galaxies came together so quickly after the Big Bang, they will have to ensure the odd red dots they are looking at are not something else. Most of the alternative explanations also require entirely new concepts. For example, stars in the early universe might emit light in exotic ways due to their lack of heavy elements and perhaps we're not incorporating those in our models, says Leia. Or alternatively, perhaps our understanding of how stars form locally, how many stars form from gas as a function of the mass of the stars, is totally inapplicable in the early universe. These things would also be exciting to discover and would also overturn our understanding of star formation in the early universe, just in a very different way. The images that revealed these puzzling galaxies were obtained by Webb's near-infrared camera, NIAR-CAM, as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, SEERS program. After the initial shock and awe of the discovery of these ancient, massive galaxies, the scientific community is now grappling with the implications of these findings. So how did these massive galaxies form so quickly? Astronomers are still struggling to find an answer to this question. Some have suggested that the galaxies may have formed from the merger of smaller ones, but this doesn't explain why the stars in the galaxies are so old. 
Others have suggested that the galaxies may have formed from gas that was already enriched with heavy elements, allowing stars to form more efficiently. But this would require a radical revision of our understanding of the early universe. One possibility is that the stars in these ancient galaxies are emitting light in exotic ways due to their lack of heavy elements. Alternatively, our understanding of how stars form locally, such as how many stars form from gas as a function of the mass of the stars, may not be applicable in the early universe. These are all exciting possibilities that could overturn our understanding of star formation in the early universe. To investigate further, astronomers will be looking at the light spectra of these distant galaxies. Spectra break down the observed light according to its wavelength composition, and thus reveal the chemical and physical properties of its source. This will help them to determine the precise distance and identity of these objects, which are correlated. If they can pin down the distance, they can pin down the identity, and vice versa. How do we reconcile what we thought we knew about the early universe with what we're seeing through the eyes of the James Webb Space Telescope? One of the major implications of these discoveries is that our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve is incomplete. The current model, known as the Lambda CDM model, suggests that galaxies grow through a hierarchical process, with smaller structures merging to form larger ones. This model predicts that the first galaxies in the universe should have been small and made up of young blue stars. But these new observations challenge that model. The galaxies seen by the James Webb Space Telescope are mature, with a population of red stars that are much older than expected, and they are also much larger than anticipated, with some of them being as massive as our own Milky Way galaxy. So how did these massive, mature galaxies form so quickly after the Big Bang? That's the question that astronomers are now trying to answer. One possibility is that these galaxies form through a different process than the hierarchical merging model suggests. Another possibility is that the observations are somehow flawed or misinterpreted. But so far, the evidence seems to suggest that these ancient galaxies are real and that they present a significant challenge to our current understanding of the early universe. The discovery of these massive ancient galaxies is just one example of the kind of groundbreaking research that the James Webb Space Telescope is poised to deliver. With its advanced capabilities, including a larger mirror and more sensitive instruments than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope is opening up new windows on the universe and giving us a glimpse into some of the most distant and ancient objects in the cosmos. But the telescope is not just a tool for astronomers and scientists. It's also a source of inspiration and wonder for people all around the world. The images and data that the James Webb Space Telescope will generate have the power to capture our imaginations and spark our curiosity about the universe we live in. And while the discovery of these massive ancient galaxies may challenge our current understanding of the universe, it also reminds us of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. It's a humbling reminder that there is still so much we don't know about the universe and that there are always new discoveries waiting to be made. As we continue to explore and study the universe, we will undoubtedly encounter more mysteries and surprises. But with tools like the James Webb Space Telescope at our disposal, we have the opportunity to deepen our understanding of the cosmos and to continue unraveling the mysteries of the universe. And that's a wrap, space fans. We hope you enjoyed that wild ride through the mysteries of the universe with us. Now, before we go, we want to remind you to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, because we've got plenty more space shenanigans where that came from, and we don't want you to miss a single one. So, if you're ready to blast off on another exciting space adventure, click on the video on your screen and let us take you on a journey through the cosmos. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground or not, because we're in space.